Welcome, collectors, and thank you for joining me for another brand new episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the latest addition to the growing line of Diecast Masters Transport Series, Ox Stampede Dump Trucks. Specifically, this is the brand new 150 scale CAT CT660 setback front axle Ox Stampede Dump Trucks. Now, if you're familiar with the Diecast Masters Transport Series lineup of 150 scale trucks, you will know that they have already done a International HX620 dump truck with a Stampede dump box. They've also done a Peterbilt 567th with the aforementioned dump box, as well as a Kenworth T880 uh, with a Ox Stampede dump box. Coming very shortly, they will add a Western Star to that lineup with the Ox Stampede dump box. So before the end of the year, hopefully you will have a choice of five different OEMs with a licensed Ox Stampede dump truck to choose from. Back to this specific one. As you can see, it comes in a brown outer shipping box that clearly depicts what's inside. Again, the outer number 85668. It, although it has this brown style Core Classics box, this is not a Core Classics model. So let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. For the first time, you will have to cut one of the sides, which is factory sealed with some Diecast Masters tape. Then you will have to push the model out from one side. It is a relatively tight fit, but once you do that, the model comes out of the box pretty easily. All right, here's our first look at the model. As you can see, it's in a yellow cat style box with a clear window packaging, so you can clearly see what's inside. Once again, CAT CT660 set back front axle ox body stampede dump truck collectible die cast scale model replica 150 scale recommended of course for collectors over the age of 14 item number 85668 cat up on top as well as the item number on the back you can see a one, well one large picture of the truck and then a trio of small pictures of the model depicting its functionality over here, we can see some information on the real CT660, such as the fact that it has a CAT CT13 engine, which is six cylinders, four valves, intercooled dual turbocharger, as well as some other information. Again, if you want to read about that, you can pause the video. Let's continue on with the unboxing process. Cool thing about this style of packaging is, say it with me, there are zero twist ties, so nothing that you have to get frustrated or worried about there. Pull the plastic formers apart and carefully lift the truck out, but you're not done. Once you get the truck out, Diecast Masters has included some added flexibility with these Ox Stampede dump boxes, which I personally think are really cool. Let's take a look at them. You have a couple different sets of mud flaps for the truck that you can put on. The first set is the Ox Stampede. And then the other set is the cat mud flaps. The only other thing in the packaging is the Diecast Masters cat catalog, which has their entire range of cat products. All right, with the truck out of the box, let's continue on with the only assembly process. And of course, this is completely optional. You can choose to leave the mud flaps off if that's what you'd like to do. So these mud flaps are already pre-installed, but you need to put the rear ones on. And the way to do that, it's best to turn the truck upside down. You can see these two holes right here. And that's where the mud flaps essentially go on. And you put them into the holes on the back. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Got to bring the model closer to me in order to effectively do that. So we're going to go for the Ox Stampede. So let's show you these up close real quick before I put them on. So here's the Ox Stampede mud flaps, which reads Ox Bodies. There we go. They are very tiny, and because they're rubber, they are flexible, which means not very good for holding them in your hands because they tend to pop out, but really good for them looking realistic on a model. All right, let's put them on. Again, have to do this closer to me, so I apologize that it's not in the frame, but to do this effectively, you gotta do it closer to me. So I'm popping these in right now. All right, there's one, and there's two. Okay, so there you go. Mud flaps are now on. We can start the model review. 
All right, so the basic CT660 truck, or the chassis, this thing has been around since the Norscott days. Again, many of you guys are aware of that. It still bears the basic cat black and yellow paint job that we've seen for years. The most notable difference with this model, of course, is the fact that it now has a licensed Ox Stampede dump box on it. The front axle does feature working steering, so you can pose the truck at an angle or steering. You can also open the hood, which reveals a motor inside with some individually detailed components. So good functionality there. Turning the truck to the front, you can see the cat logo and lots of chrome. There's also reflectors on the mirror, reflectors on the banner, and up here you have the Ox Bodies logo right here on the spill guard up on top. Turning the truck around, the dump box itself is a heavy die cast metal component and is not plastic. You have a functioning drop or lift axle right here underneath the truck. And in order to do that, simply pull down on it. And now you can see that it is grounded and rolling with the rest of the axles. If you want it up out of service, push up. And now it is not moving with the other ones. So that functionality works great. Moving the truck to the rear. Here we can see the installed mud flaps, as I said. You were also given a standard factory installed tow hitch here at the back, so if you want to tow some trailers around, you can do that. Once again, here's your lights in detail, the Ox Body logo right here on the swing open of the tailgate, and some lights here. Now you may think they missed one light on this side, that's actually how it's supposed to look, so you're only supposed to have three lights on the back of the truck. If we look inside the dump box itself, that's what it looks like. The chassis component of the truck has the item number underneath at the top front and different tire tread patterns on some of the different wheels with the front tires, at least to my eye, being slightly more larger or fat than the tandems at the rear. All right, let's finish up our functionality with showing how the dump box works and how the extent of the dump height is. So there you go, helped along by a one, two, three stage cylinder. And our tailgate swings out to an exceptional angle as well. So you should have zero issue getting any material, especially loose material, out of this dump box with no problem. The last simulated posing opportunity for modeling I will show you is how it looks being loaded by a cat wheel loader of appropriate size for a dump truck such as this. So let's bring in a Diecast Masters Cat 980K. And as you can see, the two make a pretty decent pair together. So overall, in conclusion, if you are looking for a brand new 150th scale Diecast Masters dump truck, and perhaps you've been waiting to try out one of the new ones with the Ox Stampede license dump box, I think you will be pleased with this one. It is priced appropriately for not only having a model that has to have a Caterpillar license, but also an Ox Stampede dump box license. These retail for around, currently at the time that I am filming this review, they retail for around $90 US, which again is a very good value for the money when you take into account the fact that this has two licensees attached to it. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. Take a look at your screen right now. You will find a couple additional videos with some suggested links for additional Diecast Masters product reviews that I have done recently. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll see you in the next review.